The following is a transcript of a conversation between Matthias de Stefano, referred to as me, and his higher self, referred to as I am. 26 May 2021, Excretory. Me. Yesterday, there was a part that you didn't describe to me. What about the large intestine and anus? I am. I did not describe them because, although they are a direct part of the digestive system, their functions are more related to the excretory system. Me. Oh, of course, because it is responsible for eliminating what does not work. I am. The small intestine is an extensive journey where information is assimilated, where nutrients are absorbed. The bacteria of the intestine collaborate in this process, helping to consume all the small parts, dissolving them in their smallest expression so that they are filtered by the villi. But there are many parts that are impossible to be dissolved or that by their composition are rejected by the intestine. In addition, there is a limit to absorption, so not everything, no matter how nutritious, will enter the bloodstream. All this must be excreted. Me. What does excretion mean? I am. It comes from the Latin ex, out, and cernere, choose, discern, analyze, in addition to the suffix tor, agent, subject. Excretory is the agent dedicated to discerning what comes out. Me. It was my understanding that this system is part of the urinal. I am. Actually, the urinary is part of the excretory, because not only urine is excreted, but also fecal matter, gases and liquids through the skin of the eyes, of the nose. Everything that comes out with the aim of purging the body is excreted. Me. I understand. Maybe it's one of the dirtiest or most disgusting systems we don't normally want to talk about. I am. Because, as on all levels, people tend to deny their shadows and hide what they don't want to see about themselves. Me. Sure, it's true. I am. In the celestial religious traditions, cultures that seek the divine and pure interpret the excreted as the impure, the shadows to deny, that from which we must move away, and biologically it has its logic. Everything excreted is precisely because the body cannot process it, because it hurts it in a certain way, and therefore better outside than inside. Now, in the beginning of time, many times humans did the same as any animal, in that their waste is usually left in the same space in which they live. But over time, many species, including humans, could see that this practice brought many diseases. So they began to look for secluded places to leave their remains, but this itself created a notion of denial. Being seen as something that does us harm, the brain placed it in the disgusting information folder. The brain interprets as disgust those things that can be poisonous, hurt us. In this way, we naturally tend to feel disgusted when we see something we do not like which, at its extreme, produces a natural reaction typical of the organism that defends itself against toxic objects, which are nausea, that feeling of being on a boat, which contracts the stomach and esophagus to expel what has entered and can harm the body. In this way, understanding the harm of excrement, the body rejects them. Me. Absolutely. I am. Still, psychologically, we perform the same thing as the excretory system. Those situations that harm us, that we do not like, that we want to forget, produce disgust, nausea, and we eliminate them from our life, denying them, moving away from them. Me. Oh, sure, we interpret them as toxic, and so we move away. I am. However, ideas, emotions, are not excreted, but by denying them, they are only registered, hidden in the field of our souls. Therefore, they end up making us sick. The comparison would be as follows. Dispose of toxic waste, such as excrement, by throwing it into a dark pit where no one can ever see it. But that well was connected to the groundwater, which beyond nourishes the cistern from which it is drunk. Me. And we get sick without understanding the logic of why. I am. For having hidden the dirty, the same thing was filtered in the same terrain from which I nourish. Me. So what can we do? I am. Learn to look at our waste, and not throw it and run, but understand what can be done with it. Humanity has always done this, of throwing and running. That's why they have polluted the world. That's why there is so much garbage in the oceans and the land. That's why there are polluted waters and airs. Because they hide what they don't like, but everything is connected. 
Knowing how to look at waste and understand how it is produced and what it has to give us back is fundamental. Me. Recycling. I am. And not only the physical is recycled, but also the emotional and mental. In the psychological aspect, many people who enter the path of awakening must rummage in the phreatic wells looking for what they want through to clean the waters. Review hidden histories, traumas, repressed ideas and feelings. Face everything you do not like to understand it, assimilate it, and recycle it so that it is useful in other aspects of life. Me. Like making a compost, but in every aspect of life. I am. Always. What, for one, is a waste, for another will be the basis of its growth. It is only a matter of knowing where that growth is, that transforming agent. Me. So, to understand the excretory system is to recognize one's own darkness as a vehicle of development. To let go is not to deny, to let go is to deliver for the next step of the cycle. I am. And there are two ways to excrete, solid and liquid. In the case of solid, it is related to the continuity of the digestive. After finishing the last part of the small intestine, known as the ileon, it is connected to the colon by a part called the cecum, where the appendix is located. This would corrode the remains of raw meat that had been consumed, and from the cecum they would propel the chyme towards the part of the large intestine called the ascending colon. The last nutrients are absorbed here, while the chyme is again constituted as a bolus, this time fecal. This word designates the attribute of the hes, from the Latin fex, feces, the way in which the remains of the vine accumulated at the bottom of the barrels during the fermentation process to obtain wine were known. Removing those residues from the wine was known as defecare, which gave defecating. Finishing its journey by having passed through the transverse colon and the descending colon, surrounding the abdomen and the small intestine, the colon becomes more compact and smaller in the area called sigma, which flows into the rectum, the part where waste is accumulated, generating tension and causing intestinal contractions to produce the need for evacuation. Me, which will be given through the anus. I am an elastic tissue of many nerve endings. The excretory part of the solid allows all the waste of the body that we have ingested through eating to be released in a practical way for the kingdom of insects, fungi, and vegetables in nature, which will use it as a source of nutrients for the development of their bodies. Me. But, I have to ask, what about diarrhea and gas? I am. In the dissolution, the decomposition, of the internal organic matter, hydrogen and carbon are released that are compacted to form methane gas. A human produces half a liter of methane gas each day in this digestive process, which is released around 20 flatulences a day. Me. Wow. In other words, it is inevitable to fart. I am. Or you would die intoxicated by this noble gas. Noble gases like this maintain the Earth's greenhouse effect. Me. Isn't that bad? I am. Not if it's just right. A greenhouse is a space covered by tarpaulins, used in agriculture to keep heat in an enclosed space that allows seedlings to stay at the same temperature despite the cold outside. This is what allows that during the nights, half of the plant does not f die frozen by the cold of space. The greenhouse effect is what keeps biomass at an average temperature due to the accumulation of gases that trap solar energy and keep it on the surface of the planet. Without a greenhouse, you would die. However, balance is essential. An excess of carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere, either from human pollution or a chain reaction of volcanic activity, or the melting of permafrost, frozen soil containing the methane of millions of years, can generate a hellish effect in which the greenhouse becomes a cauldron and seedlings die. Me. Oh, I understand. I am. Diarrhea can occur in general due to an excess of viruses and bacteria that prevent the absorption of nutrients, which generates an intestinal reaction of accelerated evacuation without giving time to the formation of the fecal bolus in order to clean up as soon as possible. Me. So a lot of times, what we see as the problem is actually the solution. I am. That's right. As in life, sometimes it is crisis and ruptures that are saving our lives. Although, at that moment, we do not see it as such. 
Me. It makes sense. And what about the liquid? I am. Liquid excretion occurs through the cleansing of the blood. All the liquids you ingest pass very easily into the bloodstream absorbed by the intestines, since they do not require great dissipation effort. The liquid helps make the bolus easier to dissolve, and therefore, drinking plenty of fluid improves the entire digestive system, as well as being another source of minerals and oxygen. When fluid is absorbed into the bloodstream of the circulatory system, it carries with it many nutrients that can be weighed on cells. In some cases, these dirty fluids are incorporated between the cells, accumulating, leading to the lymphatic system having to drain it. Another way to remove heavy and dirty fluid accumulated in cellular tissues is through sweat. These liquids begin to be excreted through the millions of pores in the integument tissue, called skin, which emerge from the body seeking to escape due to excess heat and pressure. At higher heat, the water molecules will begin to expand, seeking to leave, and in doing so they will carry with them all these wastes and impurities. Because this liquid is the main accumulating source of heat, when excreted the body cools, regulating temperature to maintain balance. Me. That's why we sweat when we have a fever. I am. Yes. Now, the greatest amount of liquid waste, of course, is not excreted through the skin, but through the urine. Me. Sure. It is the largest source of waste and toxin release. And you can see the amount of toxins that a body possesses by the color of the urine. The darker, the dirtier the organism. The lighter, the healthier. I am. A completely healthy body will eliminate its liquids without color or smell, such as water, and for this you need to drink at least 2 to 3 liters of water daily without consuming for a week any other type of liquids, or sugars, or carbohydrates, or lipids. That would eliminate all the accumulated waste, making that by returning to consume them regularly, the system has the option of cleaning itself properly without having excess work. This system is working 24 hours a day because it needs to filter the blood of all impurities, and the blood never stops circulating just as you never stop breathing. Me. What are its parts? I am. The famous kidneys are the fundamental organs responsible for filtration. However, we could talk about another organ in charge of this blood filtration, the spleen. Me. Isn't it an organ related to the digestive? I am. The spleen is attached to the stomach because its vascular connections absorb all the blood that the digestive system filters in its functions, thus being the visceral gland that filters dead blood cells and all those things that can be harmful to circulation, thus fulfilling an important role in the immune system as a kind of self-service blood where the old is left to get new cells. It is almost like a third kidney exclusively for blood cells while the kidneys are intended exclusively for fluids outside the system. These are located behind the stomach, almost at the height of the pancreas on the backside, one on each side of the spine. The arteries carry the blood to the kidneys, where it is filtered of all toxins by their tissues, like sponges, letting the pure liquid pass between their filaments to be returned to the blood system through the veins. The waste is expelled into the renal pelvis, inside the kidneys, which become outward in the ureter. Each duct will be directed downwards, finding in the bladder a sac located at the height of the pubis, which retains the liquids until it has been completely filled, which exerts pressure to begin to push this fluid through the urethra, where they will be eliminated, excreted in the form of urine through the genitals. Me. The waste journey. Interesting. I am. The excretory system is fundamental for your health, for stability. It helps in the daily purging of the rest of the systems, allowing them to function properly, in harmony. This way, you understand the importance of observing what you consume and how you help your body to work or relax, as well as to be able to see your own shadows, the things you no longer need. Me. Detachment. I am. Let go of toxic relationships, unhealthy bonds, release stagnant emotions through crying, excreting painful feelings through tears, allowing yourself to scream. Defecating is like the effort of childbirth that releases what is no longer my own, what no longer belongs to me and belongs to others. Me. I shit on everything, they say in eschatological culture. I am. To release the shit from oneself is to recognize that only I was holding it in me. The question is why, for what, from where. 
When you understand these questions, you can free yourself without hiding it, but recognizing that what you seek to let go, at some point, was you who consumed it. Me. Oh, that's an interesting, inflective point. What I seek to discard from my life is the same as before. One day, I myself decided to consume. I am. Therefore, be responsible for what you consume, and you will be aware of what you excrete. Become aware of what you excrete, and you will be responsible for what you consume. Me. Matter, emotions, and thought. Everything that we deny, want to let go of, is useful to others. Therefore, before hiding it, we must know its usefulness, why I consumed it, and how the result can be useful to others. I am. What I keep silent can harm others. Tell my ailments, the toxic in me, can help others improve their lives. Me. Sharing my would basically be like fertilizing the land instead of hiding everything in a well that will pollute the waters. Emotions. I am. So the next time you go to the bathroom, think very carefully. What am I letting go? And what am I not letting go? Me. The meditative throne of the toilet. I am. Center of personal inspiration. From now on, turn to the bathroom as a place of recognition. Because it is not where you strip yourself of what you do not like, but where you free yourself from what you believed about yourself to know better what you have inside. Me. Never before had anyone sent me to shit in such a deep and poetic way even spiritual. I am. Now you know. In everything there is poetry. Biology is perfect. Therefore it is the voice of the spirit. Be free. Me. I'm going to the bathroom. Mahasaha. Mahasaha. Mahasaha.